Just do a quick video before my 3D printer arrives tomorrow. I'm going a little bit off brand. Um, I do already have one of these unboxed that I have used a fair bit, but whatever um, jolt lovers, um, welcome included, may say, this is an absolute jolt killer. Power wise, it just blows it away. It is so much more powerful. The drawer on it is only tiny. And yeah, okay, you have to manually rotate the barrel through every shot. And it does come with a little sticker to tell you. Um, but for sheer power and the fact that it's only three rounds and uh, Zero are kind enough to supply you with I believe eight if I remember rightly from my last one but I only paid about £3.14.5 from my local Asda, which would be your, your US equivalent of Walmart, I suppose. So there's around, well, Asda is a Walmart company. Um, but yeah, you get three, six, eight rounds in your little Tech 3 box that I paid the whole 349 for. 345 for. Um, it is very small. I mean, literally, I can fit two fingers on one for the trigger. Um, yeah, I'm filming this in my new office whilst waiting for my 3D printer to arrive tomorrow, so I thought I'll do something in the meantime before I get caught up in 3D printing, but. It only has a very small drawer, but it's quite heavy. And um, yeah, it's got some serious power behind it. And the fact that you don't have to redraw and then load another one, you can just turn the barrel and redraw. Well, turn the cylinder stroke barrel and redraw makes it so much simpler. Um, it is a fantastic little blaster for for the price, which is negligible. Um, if you're looking for something tiny, like a little pocket rocket that you can just stick in a trouser pocket or a back pocket or a cargo pocket or something, this will outdo a jolt, it'll outdo a triad, even my modded triads, it's more powerful than. Um, this will clear 20 feet without drop easily at shoulder height. It's, it's a fantastic little blaster for a really good price. And the fact that you get eight darts for uh, three cylinders is a bonus um, and the fact that they're just so cheap um, over here a jolt is about five pounds five to six pounds you're looking about 589 average whereas this was 349 345 349 I can't remember there's only 4p difference it doesn't really make that much difference to me but Four pence, yeah. Uh, it's about three forty-five, three forty-nine. But once you've fired one round, you just click it into the next draw, fire, 
click to the next, draw, fire, and you can still top it off on the fly. So you never really run out of ammo, whereas you'd have to be scavenging for your two jolt darts that you get with it. You'd still have five in your pocket, as well as a full blaster. Um, I do have two of these. Um, but yeah, this is this is one of my rare off-brand ones, apart from my Busby Snipe and my Busby Destiny. Um, the Destiny is fantastic. The Snipe is pretty good. But it was my first blaster ever, so... And within a few days I bought a Strife, so... Barely got much of a look in. Um, but yeah, Zero have really outdone themselves with this. It's got a pretty comfortable hook. It's not like those janky key ring mods where that cut into your fingers. It's comfortable. It's comfortable to draw. And it doesn't get in, doesn't impede you in any way. The trigger might be small and the grip might be quite small, but it's designed to be small. So yeah, there you go. The Zuru X-Shot Tech 3. Much maligned by many people, particularly Jolt fans. Um, but I don't think there's any way you could even mod a Jolt up, even with an AR removal and um, putting a beefier spring in. You might be able to get the same sort of performance, but you wouldn't have the option to, to keep three rounds in your chamber. And then just click them into place and have three extra darts. Plus, you'd have to do all the extra work on it, whereas I didn't have to do anything for this. I just took it out of its packaging. I've got three darts loaded, five darts spare, another eight darts in my box with another one of these. So, yeah, overall, a bargain. Um... And I would say Matt approved for uh, an off-brand blaster. Um, it doesn't feel there's no there's no spring rattle. It doesn't feel janky. It feels solid. It it feels good, even though it's small. It's still I don't know if you you'd have to really hold it to to know. But it actually feels well built. It feels quality. And for that price, who am I to argue? It's, it's a jolt slayer, man. That's it, plain and simple. It's a triad slayer. Um, I wouldn't go as far as saying fire strike, but still. Anyway. That's been my quick old review of the uh, Zero Tech 3. 3D printer due tomorrow, so I'll be a little bit busy um, assembling that. I might do a little video on that, and I might do a little video on 3D printing, which will also be some of my other videos will be on 3D printing and 3D printed parts that I've made. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed everything and your cup of tea or whatever, um, hit like, hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon. You'll be informed of my latest video and uh, we'll see what we've got next because I've got plenty of stuff to show you. I've got plenty of blasters that have got upgrades and they'll be up soon. So, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.